Hello and welcome to a new series in Bannerlord. And yes, once again, my apologies for the technical issues we were having in the Eagle Rising series. So yeah, I couldn't get it to run once again. I was continuing to have crashes no matter what I did. I tried disabling some things, tried enabling other things, tried to install better exception window, but that still did not make any difference. Anyway, we are going to be playing with the Forbury mod here, and I am going to be playing with bandit units only. Yes, bandit units only. So any units that I can gain that are bandits or converted prisoners, that is how we are going to play. And if I manage to convert some people that are regular units, then that's absolutely fine. We're going to be taking those. But if I am going to go to a village and recruit, we're not allowed to do that according to the rule set that I've set out for ourselves right here. So there are two cultures for me that feel particularly, uh, you know, kind of setting the, the theme for this quite nicely. And that is either the Azerai or the Batanians. The Azerai mostly for the fact that caravans are 30% cheaper to build, 10% less trade penalty. That's obviously really good in my opinion. Uh, but the main thing that we're looking for right there is having no speed penalty on desert. That basically makes us a force to be reckoned with when we go into Azurai lands. However, desert is kind of rare to see, uh, unless you're in Azurai territory, of course. So that's the reason why I'm probably going to be playing Batania once again, uh, at least the culture, not going to be using any of their units, and unless we actually convert a couple of people. So we're just going to go for Batania. We're going to go for a fellow here because we are obviously going to be playing as Bruce, because in the Bandit Lord series, we generally tend to play with Bruce here. So otherwise, apart from that, let's give him a wonderful beard. Let's, uh, let's make him a little bit darker head here, and then we're just going to go straight on for it. Uh, I think we're going to make him a slight bit shorter as well because he is going to be a sneaky sneaky kind of character and that kind of makes sense in my opinion so we're going to go for that and we are going to be going for well as much roguery as I can get my hands on so roguery and charm is going to be what we're going to start off with here let's have a look and see if there's any other roguery available if there's no roguery available I will try to get charm I suppose Mm, yes, there we go. There's charm. Okay, trade and charm. Not looking for that. I am looking for... Wow, we're getting pretty unlucky with that. We're going to go for two-handed and smithing. I don't exactly know what I'm going to be using just yet. We're going to go for roguery once again. Uh, there's athletics and roguery. That sounds pretty good to me. We're probably going to be going for that again. Yes, athletics and roguery. And we're going to be going for age 30 this time age 30. Now, the main reason why I'm going to do this is because I think this might be a relatively lengthy series, and I'd like to actually marry someone relatively early on. If we can marry someone early on, I might be able to either steal their gear, which <laughs> all intents and purposes might actually be kind of useful, and if we don't steal their gear, we're going to then be able to have some kids, and hopefully if I die, because we're doing some pretty, you know, criminal-related activities, we're hopefully then going to have an heir that will be able to deal with whatever, you know, comes our way, basically. So we're just going to be going for something along these lines. This looks like a pretty cool banner, in my opinion, so we're going to go for that. And we're going to be calling ourselves Bear Chill once again. Yeah, it's wonderful. And our own name is Bruce. It's been a while since we've seen a Bruce. Technically, we have seen a Bruce not that long ago, but generally... Generally, we, uh, for some reason, had some problems with the Banner King series as well, technical issues. And uh, once again, we're playing with relatively similar mods, and I have tried them out. They are, they are all fine. So I can only assume that Eagle Rising and or the European map is giving me some issues. I know some people said that Super Speed and um, Best Auto Equip were giving them some problems, but I've never had a problem with those unless they were not with your uh, particular version of the game. So hopefully if that if that does cause a crash or if I do experience any crashes, I'll, I'll know what to do. Anyway, we're just going to be um, not doing anything with clan member perks. We're obviously going to be choosing those ourselves and we're going to be keeping Battle Death for everyone yes there we go for all heroes enabled fantastic all right so now bear in mind we are not allowed technically 
according to the rules, to recruit any units straight away. So you may think, oh no, yeah, that's going to be kind of difficult, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually going to be kind of difficult. So what we're going to do is bandit units in your party gain experience 20% faster. That is actually really incredible. Also, faster raiding is going to be really useful for us as well. I think I'm actually going to be going for all points in roguery right here. We also have two attribute points as well. And I'm thinking we're probably going to be specking those into social two as well as uh, cunning. So we're going to be going for one in cunning, one in social here. Going to be going for some more points in charm because, of course, we're going to be doing quite a lot of... Well, pretty much everything. We're going to be doing a lot of tasks. I want to, that's the thing. We're not going to be, we're not going to be a mercenary. Do bear that in mind. We're not going to be a mercenary this time around. We're going to be changing things up pretty dramatically from how we used to play in standard series. And that's the thing. We've got the Forbury mod. Okay, we have the Forbury mod. This is, this is going to be a pretty significant change to what we usually um have going on here so we can do a scam right here we can do a scam we can scam some locals boom there we go our scam was a success we got some dinars and improved our roguery and charm skills which is actually perfect that's the reason why i'm specking into these these two things right here and that's the reason why we have significant learning rates as a result too unfortunately i need to wait two days in between doing scams. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how Larceny is going to go. I, I think this might be a bit problematic. Hello there, sir. All right. Um, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I want to I wanna prove my skills. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fair enough. What do you suggest, he says. Okay. Well, um, uh, uh, I can pick the pockets of some locals. I want you to succeed five times within a day. Okay. Um... What? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> no, abandon the job. No, I'm not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. Um, I, I don't think so, at least. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me actually just see something real quick. Is there a way for me to steal things from people when I actually go into the town? I don't think so, right? If I sneak behind this woman right here... <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. We're proposing, apparently. We are proposing. Hello, Batania Townswoman. Will you will you become my wife? Ah, yes. No, that, that no, that, that's not going to happen. Okay. Um. Yeah, that is hilarious. Oh, look, there is something on your shoulder. You get closer. Oh my. Okay. Wait. <laughs> no, thank you. Good day to you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There is actually an option. There is actually an option for potential pickpocketing. Okay. Wait a minute. Aha. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see if I can actually do something here. Okay, so this this might actually be something cool. There's a townsman right here. Maybe I can sneak behind him. Here we go. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much for the trade tip. Okay, so wait, a guard is watching me. Really? Where? One of these guys? Really? Oh, okay, well, I'm looking for someone. Oh, no, I'm not looking for that guy, that's for sure. But yeah, it's actually pretty amazing that they have implemented something like this. It's been a while since I've played the Forbury mod, so I'm actually very much looking forward to it. And maybe we're going to be able to do something here. There's no... Oh, there's a guard over there. I actually wonder whether he can see me from here. Ah, there we go. You faint, losing your balance, and bump into your victim. There we go. My apologies. I didn't mean to be a nuisance. You don't look like an honest person. Be on your way. All right. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. We obviously failed to do that this time around. Okay. So that might not even be particularly worth it, unfortunately. Let's actually take a look at this. This guy doesn't really have any quests for us right there. Okay, so first of all, let's let's try and go to all of the Batanian towns and see if we can actually perform a couple of amazing feats of destruction and villainy. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can actually do that. There's, there's actually a, a bunch of looters here as well. Let's actually see what we can do here. Fight me if you dare. Now, technically, what I could have could have done here is I could have recruited them just just straight up, as far as I'm aware. The Forbury mod does allow you to, I think, persuade them to maybe join you. I'm not entirely sure on that, but yeah, I'm just going to try and level up my thrown weapon proficiency a little bit as well. Let's face it, I do have a couple of them, and it might be kind of nice to try it out a little bit. Nice little headshot right there. There we go. 
not too bad. Bear in mind, I don't even have... Uh, do I have one focus point in it? I think I have one focus point in it or something like that. These guys are using stones against me. That's not really going to be that useful. I do have the spear rework still installed as well, by the way, because it's generally fantastic. You know, it makes it a lot easier for us to be able to uh, actually fight in tournaments relatively nicely, because obviously I'm still going to be doing a couple of tournaments here and there. And with the roguery skills that we're going to be uh, inevitably picking up, it's going to be amazing for us to enter into those tournaments and be able to bet double the amount that we would normally be able to, because that's the point. When you have, I think it is 50 in roguery skill, you are going to be able to do that. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take any of them prisoner, which is actually what I intended to do, but I was so incredibly effective with my amazing combat skills. Yes, of course, they're not that amazing, but yes, I was being rather amusing there, or at least I was trying to mock myself. Anyway, gang leader needs weapons. Yeah, I'm not going to really be doing anything with that. We're going to do a little bit of a scam right here. There we go, got 167, and we've improved our roguery skills and our charm skills as well. And we've also leveled up, which is pretty nice. Okay, so obviously we can gain 5 influence by winning a tournament here with self promosa or we can have a 30% more likely chance to have children. Now for me personally, I think I'm probably going to have the 30% more likely to have children perk because if I'm not going to become a mercenary, which I don't think I am actually going to do, I think I'm going to remain independent for the entirety of this series. At least that's what I'm going to attempt to do. And we're going to try to get as powerful as we possibly can be. And then we're going to try to capture something or try to do something along those lines and see how it goes. I am obviously not entirely sure how it's going to work, but hopefully it will work out quite well. Anyway, 30% more likely to have children. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to expect one more point in cunning here. And I'll probably go for, uh, I don't even know whether I should go for a point in anything else. Maybe a point in uh, point in pole arms or something like that, just in case. There is larceny available here, but as we've seen, not sure if I can really do anything in this regard. I don't know. I want to prove my skills. I can take care of a guard. I mean, technically, I might be able to take care of a guard. Don't forget, you have to do this at night. Okay, piece of cake. All right, well, it, it is nighttime, actually. It is nighttime, so... Um, there we go. Guard killing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's that's a bit heavy, isn't it? Yeah, that is a bit heavy. All right, so let's go in and see what I can actually do here. Bear in mind, I have, well, probably one of the worst weapons in the game, and I am, I am a little bit injured as well. So if I do get myself captured, then that's just how it's going to have to be. Hello, fellow. Are you a guard? Yeah, here we go. Oh, did I? Oh, I, I just abandoned it. Oh. I just abandoned it. Well, I'm going to do it in spirit at the very least. Okay, yeah. Obviously, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to these kinds of things. So do forgive me. Hmm. Yes. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. We're, we're getting a bit more used to it. I'm, I really have no idea. I've never done that one before. The larceny skill, I've never done that before. So that's obviously going to be something that we're going to have to get a bit more used to as we go forward here. Army of Poachers, probably not going to really be doing that. Let's do another scam, see if we can be successful. Yeah, there we go. We're, we're, we're doing pretty well in terms of that. And it's actually nighttime again, so we might be able to actually do something. Um, okay, yeah, I can take care of a guard. There we go. Yeah, so let's, let's actually try and go in and defeat a guard. Um, but bear in mind, they are Batanian Oath Sworn, as far as I'm aware. And they're probably going to be very, very powerful. So let's see if I'm actually able to do something. Hello. Oh, it's a Batanian Falksman as well. All right. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit problematic. Okay, so let me see. Is there anywhere that I can go? What about this guy? Mm, no, not this guy. Well, what about this one over here? This one's... Wait a minute. This one might be by himself. Someone over here, maybe? I'm actually not entirely sure where I can go to even perform this this particular task because it feels to me like you're not really going to have um you're not really going to have many places you can go to be honest so it might be it might be a bit difficult to actually find a guard that's by themselves if that's even how you're supposed to do it because let's face it you know maybe i'm actually doing it wrong which might be the case as i say i've not done it before oh we could actually take over some some territory here maybe that would be a nice idea I don't take all this from the likes of you. All right, let's do it. Murder him. There we go. 
Okay, we're just going to take this guy out as well. My weapon is not exactly great, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. There we go. Not too bad. I did take a little bit of damage, of course. Uh, I should probably get a thrown weapon, to be honest, shouldn't I? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to um, <laughs> we'll try to take over the area, but it's a bit worrying because they're probably going to attack me with many many enemies, and if I only have a melee weapon, then we might have some issues. All right, here we go. Do I do we want to take a? St there's six of them. Okay, there's six of them. We might even be able to. We might be able to do it. We might be able to do it. It's highly unlikely this early on in the game, but. You never know. Maybe I'm gonna be, uh, maybe I'm gonna be lucky. I am pretty low in HP as well, so we've, we're gonna have to be a bit cautious. But I think if I had thrown weapons right now, I'd probably be looking much, much better. And um, maybe, maybe I'm gonna get lucky. I don't know. Or maybe not, because he just murdered me instantly. All right. Okay. Fine. That's absolutely fine. As you can see, it doesn't really do anything. Um, amusingly enough, and uh, I, yeah, it seems like I'm not I'm not going to be able to do the larceny task for some reason. Feels like it's very very difficult for us to do that right now. So yeah, this is going to take us a little bit of time to get used to things, but that's absolutely fine because obviously in the end we will be the criminal mastermind that everyone knows we can be. Of course. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to abandon this, and then we can hopefully do a scam once we are back up and running. And I think that there's, there is actually a tournament going on here as well, which would be quite fun. So let's just do the scam real fast. There we go. Scam seems to be pretty useful for us and seems to actually be working pretty nicely. But everything else is not really, not really doing too well for us here. Okay, so shall we go for some smithing skill? I do want to still do some smithing, so I will probably do that. And uh, we're just going to wait here for a little bit of extra time because I would like to go into the tournament here. Uh, but I, I really want to actually get my roguery skill to 50 before we do a tournament. So I'm thinking that maybe let's should we just recruit? Let's just recruit some recruit some people for this. If I take them in as prisoners, they'll just slip away as soon as they get. Ah, OK. I could use. Ah, OK, OK, OK. So. OK, I'll find your recruits. Fine. OK, yeah. Um, so what we need to do with this is, as far as I'm aware, we need to get prisoners. Yeah. Recruit seven looters or bandits into your, into your party, then transfer them to, your, uh, to her. OK, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I think we can probably do that. Hello. OK. Uh, maybe we can work out something. Do you want to do you want to join me? Oh, no, really? <laughs> OK. Oh, they don't seem to want to do that. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. We do get the opportunity to use our throne weapons now, so I shouldn't have too many difficulties in winning this, or at least I hope not.
All right, not too bad, not too bad. Took us a little bit of time to get that going because obviously I couldn't really deal with any additional damage there. I needed to make sure that I wouldn't actually die. Anyway, we do have one looter that has now joined us. Hilariously enough, one looter. Can you believe it? Wow. <laughs> what a... What an absolute travesty that was. Okay, so uh, yeah, it seems like all of this is basically just going to get sold straight away. I'd like to buy some horses, but these are way too expensive, unfortunately. So not going to be able to do anything there. I can sell some olives, I guess. And uh, we can sell the pickaxe, I suppose, but that's pretty much all we can do. And then we are maxed out already. So I should probably try to buy some additional horses. Maybe it would be a good idea for me to head on over to Kuzate territory, doing scams all along the way. So every single town I come to, we could do a scam in it. We could get some roguery skill. And then by the time that I'm all the way over there, I might even have the ability to... Uh, recruit some more people in the process. Let's actually do another scam right away. Oh, we failed. Oh, no. Look at that. We actually failed it. Can you believe it? All right. Yeah, so we actually failed that. Sad, sad, sad. But it's okay because we got another point in charm skill and we're going to get another, uh, another f uh, attribute point actually in cunning. And then I think I will be putting another point, uh, well, eventually another point in smithing. I think that's going to be a good idea. Let's try to get some more damage while mounted, because obviously that's what I'm currently trying to do. And otherwise, I'm just going to be waiting for a little bit of time. Let's just recruit this looter. And uh, I think, you know what? If I can find some javelins, I might actually have a slightly better time of winning these battles, because javelins are more than likely going to be just that much more powerful than the throwing axes. And I might even be able to sell the throwing axes for a pretty decent price. As you can see, I can sell them for a thousand each, which is actually hilarious. So I'm going to do that. And then maybe what we'll, what we'll do is maybe find some javelins. Yeah, as you can see, there are some javelins here. They're pretty expensive, though. That is a bit problematic. We're going to have to pay 446 for them. I could technically sell this sword, but... This is the only sword I have at the moment, which is probably not going to very much work very well if I actually do that. So we're just going to get these javelins, and these are going to be Im incredibly useful. So much more useful than the, uh, than the other things. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to maybe find these forest bandits. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, forest bandits. You know how powerful these guys can be. All right, let's, uh, let's actually go in here and see if we can... See if we can win this. This is this is very risky, all right? This is very risky because I don't know whether you know this, but forest bandits are some of the best bandits in the game. They have amazing skills across the board, basically, and they are well known for being extremely good from range. And you can see here that they're already firing at me with their wonderful, wonderful bows. They're probably gonna murder me, but thankfully I have massive damage from my throne weapons, and I should be able to eliminate a bunch of them pretty easily. My looter has already been killed, which is to be expected, of course. All right, there we go. Whew. That was uh, that was tense. That was real tense. Okay, so thankfully enough, 
boom, we actually do have a bunch of prisoners right now, which is really, really nice. And we've basically traded up because, you know, we had a looter, right? We had one looter in our party and now we have four and they are actually really, really good. So I'm very much looking forward to uh, getting these guys and actually um, trying to persuade them to join us. That's going to be real nice. All right, so my capacity has been exceeded, of course, but that's not really a big deal. Let's go back uh, over to Dunglanis here. I don't really want to give the... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hello. Uh, he's, uh, they, these guys are running from Brand's, Brand's party. Okay. Oh, no. no, don't, don't go over there. Don't go over there, Bruce. We don't have them in our party yet. They're still prisoners. No. They are still prisoners. Let's be careful. Oh, no. This is terrible. <laughs> I mean, technically, I could probably take them on, but they are at... Uh, well, we are at 28% HP which is going to be very, very difficult for us right now to be able to deal with them. Anyway, look at this. Look at this. We've got so many different perks to go for here. All right, so for each issue resolved, we're going to get plus one renown and, and plus one influence, or we can just increase the influence gain from battles. I don't know how often we're going to be completing a task, which is a problem, you see. I don't know how often we're going to be doing that, whereas we are inevitably going to be getting into quite a few battles later on. So I think it's a good idea for me to go for Warlord right here. Increased drawing speed. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to be going for that, even though dealing 40% more damage with thrown weapons, that might actually be really good. Shall we, shall we just go for that? Yeah, yeah, why not, why not? Who knows? Maybe there's going to be a time where there's going to be someone with a really amazing shield and we're going to be able to destroy it super fast. And that's what we kind of want to do. Anyway, let's go for another point in smithing right here. And otherwise, we're just going to go straight on in. And then we're going to see uh, 1.2 hours until the scam is ready. So I'm going to be very, very pleased to do another one of those. Maybe we're going to get away with it this time. Oh, we failed once again. Are you serious? Okay, wow, we're getting pretty unlucky in that regard, aren't we? Yeah, we're getting pretty unlucky anyway. Um, hopefully my prisoners will be converted relatively fast. Forced tribute right here. You must gently collect some funds for a noble cause and will be paid accordingly. All right, let's try it. Maybe you need some help. Uh, no, I do need some help. I do need some help. Thank you. Yes. Um, you don't see a contact, but instead a group of mercenaries. All right, so I've got some Master Thugs to help me here. I am very injured still because I just do not have a medic. I should probably get a medic at some point, shouldn't I? I think that's probably going to make a little bit of a difference. And uh, now we're going to have some problems, possibly. Let me see if I can win this. Okay, not too bad. Okay, we win. Whew, okay. Okay. <laughs> Wow, Master Thugs, Master Thugs, good job, Master Thug. Wow, that was really, really close right there. Okay, so there you go. We, we actually did get a thousand gold for that. Hilariously enough, no thanks to me, which is, uh, it, it's becoming a common theme, isn't it? I mean, generally, I was pretty low in HP, so I guess we can't really, you know, can't really expect too much. But uh, yeah, I probably could have done a much better job there. Anyway, what we're going to do is hopefully going to have some of these people actually starting to join us relatively soon. And then once they have joined us, then we're going to be we're going to be rolling. We're going to be rolling because then I'm going to be able to fight some more looters, capture some more looters, fight some more looters and then rinse and repeat. And then we're going to be in a really really good position or at least th that's the hope that's the hope right anyway uh yeah so we got a what we got one bushwhacker right here bear in mind that morale is going to take some 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 hits from this so it might be a little bit uh, a little bit problematic there let's do another scam let's hope yeah there we go nice we actually got that done notable extortion Ooh, we could do a notable extortion right here local gang leader norena the anvil wants you to go to the nearby village of glenlithrig the local notables are always late with their payments and need to be taught some discipline. You may keep any dinars that the notables will give you. All right, I will try it out. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about this, to be honest, because I don't have any troops. <laughs> yeah, I can actually do scams in villages as well. I had no idea that I could do that. I got some food too, which is actually kind of nice. Um, but I am now over, over the limit, which is kind of bad. So, yeah, that's not particularly good. Anyway, uh, give the locals a lesson. All right, hello there, sir. Uh, a friend of yours sent me here to remind you about an agreement you didn't respect. All right. Claim some money. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay. 
I only pay half the requested amount. Uh, pay me the full amount. Notables, notables of this village, minus one. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Plus ten hardwood relation. No, no. Pay me the full amount. Mm, let's call it kindness. Mm, okay, no, no. We're just going to say, pay me the full amount and we are done. There we go. 2,500. That's actually really nice. And we get we get some pretty good... Um, Pretty good relation with the uh, with the gang leader as well, which is quite nice. And uh, Norena is obviously really, really pleased about this. But look, look at how much I have now. I have 5,400 just from that, which is really quite amazing. We can also do ro a robbery as well. I didn't even realize we could do that too. And we have 46 out of the 50 that I really, really need. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go over to some of these villages. I wasn't actually aware that you could do scams in villages as well. And that makes a huge difference because I don't know whether you can see, but we're actually leveling up our roguery in the meantime. Let's do another scam right here. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to very quickly just go into the trade screen here. And I'm just going to sell some stuff, basically. I'm just going to sell some stuff. We've got a lot of grain that we can sell. Don't really need all of it, of course. And we're just going to be selling all of that too. And we can sell all these arrows and everything. Not going to be using a bow as far as I'm aware. And we're just going to keep the weapons as it is. And there we have it. Okay, so we have 6,600. Now I am at 48 roguery. Maybe I'm going to be able to do... I don't know about the robbery. I don't know about the robbery. Let's have a look. As a friend of Maranath that needs some support, go there and check in the tavern district to meet your contact. Okay, we'll try to do that. We'll try. Not sure if we're going to be able to do it, but I need to get to 50... Um, 50 roguery is going to be really, really useful for us. Uh, how many? I have 20 days remaining. Okay, 20 days remaining. Should be able to do that quite nicely. No one else has wanted to join me. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. I'm going to be fighting these looters right now um, because this is inevitably going to be completely fine. I have a lot of uh, a lot of thrown weapons. I've got 10 thrown weapons. That's the main reason why I wanted to swap them out for the throwing axes. Because the throwing, throwing axes only have 3 per stack. Whereas the javelins are 5 per stack. So it just generally makes sense. And I can do so much more damage with these as well. As you can quite clearly tell. I just do so much damage with them. Just generally because I'm probably more used to using them. That's probably the reason. But also because they just murder. You know. They just murder in almost every single respect. So it's really really nice to see them in action once again, and they're actually being somewhat useful. There we go, nice headshot. We're getting a bunch of headshots in the meantime as well, which is really nice. And uh, bear in mind that if I do hit anyone and don't get a headshot, they're basically one hit away from death. So that's really nice too, because it basically means that all of these guys, or most of them, are now one hit away from death, and we can just eliminate them super easily if they don't block. Alright, so not too bad. Unfortunately, I actually managed to eliminate every single one of them except one. So only one of them is going to be able to join me. I was actually hoping that we'd be able to get more than that. Because that's the whole point of me going into the battle there. Obviously, we are leveling ourselves up at the same time. Which I guess is actually kind of good anyway. Because we are going to inevitably need to do that. So, well... I guess it's okay, right? I guess it's okay. Anyway, we're not going to be doing that smithing uh, that early, so I'm going to actually put another point into throwing skill here. going to put another point into, I think, cunning. As I said to you, I want to try to get all the way to the end of the roguery, roguery skill tree. Not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to do that, but that is going to really help us in the end. It's really going to make a huge difference. Anyway, let me just do a scam here, see if I can... Yep, there we go. We were able to do it. Am I at one, Am I at 50? No, still not at 50. I'm very surprised. Okay, let's go into the tavern district. Here we go. This is what we can do in the tavern district. So there's huge amounts of additional things that you can do here. I can actually heal my wounds. It's going to cost me a 1,000. That's way too expensive for me right now. 
uh, reveal my good fortune. That's going to cost me 1400. Not sure what's going on with that. And we also have recruiting minor faction troops. So technically what I can do is I can recruit bandits, I suppose, or other kinds of mercenaries, I guess. Not entirely sure about those, but obviously they're quite expensive right now. So I'm not going to be doing anything with them. However, I will meet our contact now. Your contact gave you a peasant outfit. You will pretend to be delivering food to the kitchen and sneak in the keep. Let's do it. Apparently some guards were spotted in the Lord's Hall. Your contact offers to create a diversion and try to clear the place for 3,000 if you pay now. Okay, sure. I paid 3,000. But it looks like your contact didn't manage to make the place completely empty. Oh no, you absolute imbecile. What are you doing, sir? Oh well, whatever the case, let's go in and see what we can do. This is a bit problematic because I only have a hammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was actually fine. That was actually surprisingly fine. I was given a wooden hammer or a blacksmith's hammer or something along those lines. Anyway, the place seems clear. You start to check for some loot. You found two chests, a small one that seems to contain some dinars and a bigger one that seems to contain equipment. You only have time to lockpick one. Let's go for the big one. There we go. All right, we went for the big one. I actually did receive a thousand gold, which is pretty nice. And we also got some gear. It's pretty terrible gear, all things considered. However, I will be equipping this scimitar instead of my broadsword, I think, uh, because the swing speed is just that much better. I don't really need length when I'm dealing with a close quarter situation, and I can also use it in my peasant outfit. So, oh, they actually don't say to do that. Best auto equip says that the other thing is better. Ah, that's interesting. That is actually really, really interesting. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. They say to use this in the peasant. Ah, okay, okay. Well, that's absolutely fine then. Okay, yeah, I think that seems good. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that, actually. I think the broadsword's probably better on the fields of battle, and the scimitar is better in a uh, banditry, brigand kind of situation. So I think that's kind of nice. Do I have any throwing weapons here? No, I need to buy some throwing daggers, I'm going to assume. Anyway, there we go. So that is another one of those wonderful tasks that we can do thanks to the Forbury mod. And as you can see, I've actually leveled up a bunch of perks once again. And we're going to be increasing... Hmm, I'm actually going to be increasing my maximum hit points this time around. I'm actually not going to go for movement speed here. So we're going to go for hit... Should I go for hit points? I'm actually thinking that maybe I... You know what? I think movement speed might actually be even better because if I'm in a situation like in a brigand fight... Movement speed can actually make the, well, the difference between life or death, pretty much. So I'm actually going to do that. I, I, you know, I, I change my mind on a dime, don't I? Yes, I change my mind way too, way too often. Anyway, 50% better chance of success with disguise missions and convert bandit prisoners without suffering morale penalty. That might actually even be a better way to go. Uh, instead of doubles the amount of betting you can use in tournaments because 50% better chance of, of success with disguise missions might be really, really useful when everyone is at war against us because they all hate us. It might be a good idea for me to be able to sneak in super easily. Also, converting bandit prisoners without suffering any morale penalty, I think that could actually be kind of good too. Hmm. I mean, doubling the betting that I can use in tournaments is actually really, really useful. Yeah, I'm going to do I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that even though the other thing is probably going to be really good, but I can respec. Do bear that in mind. I can respec. I can go into, the, you know, the arena and I can say to people, "Hey, can you help me to respec?" And then they'll they'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, sure. I can definitely help you. You imbecile for specking into that other thing." Yeah, so technically we can do that. Oh, Sionathan has actually been taken by the Sturgeons. That is hilarious. I had no idea that that was actually going on, but yeah, it seems like they have indeed lost uh, and I'm talking about the Batanians here they have lost one of their premier towns very early on in the game super surprising actually anyway let's uh, recruit all of these as you can see we're gonna lose why are we losing four morale why am I losing four morale didn't I don't I have that don't I have that oh no I didn't have that oh <laughs> see now I'm already see look at that now I'm already regressing the choice I'm already regretting the choice of not uh, not taking the thing that you know prevents my morale from going down because the morale going down is actually pretty uh, pretty bad to be honest pretty bad 
So yeah, it might actually make sense for me to do something like that. But you know what? I'm going to go in and do the tournament here because the tournament is obviously going to give me massive amounts of money. And then I might actually respec after that because just look at how much money I gain from this. I can bet a thousand that we're going to get 4,000 for it just from the first round. So that's pretty nice in itself. Hopefully these guys are not going to get themselves killed super easily. He did get himself killed, but thankfully I was able to achieve victory. Oh no, I'm against two of them. Okay, I'm just going to use this tree. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm just using the tree just to kind of help me out there a little bit. Okay, uh, yeah, that's the thing. If you can use that tree to kind of force the enemy to attack in a certain direction, you can actually force them into positions that you want them to be in in comparison to, you know, them just chasing after you rel relentlessly and just murdering you where you stand. That kind of thing can happen quite often. So I'm just going to try and do something similar to that effect by using my, well, axe's curvature, I guess. I guess you could kind of call it that. Anyway, we're hopefully going to have a pretty decent time of things here. I'm not going to be doing tournaments a huge amount, by the way, so you don't have to worry too much about that. This guy is literally not knowing what I'm going to do. As you can see, he got his axe stuck behind the tree, which has now given me the momentum of the fight. I'm now able to achieve victory. Bear in mind, I obviously have an extremely low two-handed weapon proficiency, so any single advantage I can give myself... I'm going to try to take that as much as I can. This guy is not knowing what he's doing, which is great. And he's dead. There we go. So I actually gained 13,500 gold just purely for the fact that we have that new perk. That new perk is making all the difference in the world in how much money we make. Now, that's the thing. I will be respecking, but I think I'll do maybe two or three more tournaments just to get a really, really nice nest egg of money. And then we'll be able to invest in gang territory and our forbury business in general because you're inevitably going to have the ability to take over various places from some of these gang leaders and things like, for example, the back streets and the clearing and the waterfront and all those places. And then you're going to be having a, a much easier time. So... That's basically how I'm going to try to do things. And uh, we're just going to have to make do with the fact that my uh, my morale is going to inevitably going to be a bit problematic. Forced tribute is actually kind of good. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine with I'm fine with getting some assistance. Thank you very much. OK, so, yeah, we're just going to go in here. Master Thug hopefully will, will not save me this time. Hopefully I'm going to be able to pull my own weight because you can see here this scimitar is really, really nice and fast, in my opinion. I actually like it quite a bit. So hopefully I'm going to be able to do a, a decent job this time around. There we go. Nice. Nice. Th yes. Fight. Yes, there we go. That was much better. Now, funnily enough, I didn't even do anything. I basically did, what, 50 damage and that was it. But I think that me just participating in the grand melee in that area really made a huge difference overall, which is kind of weird, right? right? You know, it's, it's kind of weird that that would make such a big difference, but it does. It's surprising. Anyway, increase your damage to two-handed weapons against shields. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Why not? That sounds like a good idea. And otherwise, we're probably going to do... I should probably do riding skill, all things considered, because eventually it's going to be kind of useful. I'd like to do trade skill as well, but I think trade skill is going to come in handy a little bit, maybe a little bit too late. Not sure if I'm even going to be able to do it, but we are specking into social. So me specking some focus points into trade might actually make sense. But for now, we're going to go for riding skill because inevitably we're going to use a horse. So it's kind of it's kind of necessary, isn't it? Anyway, I'm just going to try and see if I can maybe find some additional looters here. I would like some looters to try and maybe capture them this time because I do have a couple of people in my army now, surprisingly enough. And I have 17 days left on that. Yeah, so we have a bunch of these guys. We're just going to be locking all of them so that they don't go anywhere for the moment. We're going to need them going forward. So, yeah, let me actually just have a look-see here. Bear in mind, I cannot recruit from villages. Just to reiterate upon that, just in case you missed it at the start, I'm just saying I cannot recruit from villages due to the rules. Let me see. Wait a minute. Hello, Sea Raiders. I just saw some Sea Raiders. I'd like to maybe, uh, maybe get a bunch of those to join me. Hello. There's three of them, actually. Okay, well, that's not amazing. Uh, should I just go in for the auto-resolve? Is that going to be easier? 
Yeah, that actually is easier for me to take prisoners. Hilariously enough. Okay, who would have thought it? Anyway, we're going to take uh, the freebooters, as you can see right there. Bear in mind, I don't have the disciplinary perk at the moment or the uh, veterans respect or whatever they call it nowadays. Um, that is part of the leadership skill tree, as you can see right here. I'm going to need... Uh, uh, where is it now? Veterans respect. There you go. You are able to convert bandits into regular troops. So technically, if I wanted to do that, I'd need 150 in leadership. And for me personally, I I don't know whether I really care about this because in the end, we're going to just be using, you know, people that we gain anyway. So, you know, I'm I technically I could because then I can make these forest bandits into Batanian fiance and I can I can do that according to the rules I can do that if I want to so in other words if I if I find the unit from a rescued prisoner then I can use it and no matter where it goes I can use it as long as I do not recruit from a town or a village so that's that's pretty much the only stipulation right there oh hello so we've got some looters let's see if we can maybe chase after them are they too fast for me no, it seems like I should be able to catch up. Oh, you absolute imbecile, this fellow right here. He's being annoying by uh, attempting to encroach upon my encounter with these looters. I would like to be able to just go in and... Wow, we've actually got a <laughs> pretty hilarious balance of combat strength right now. Ooh, this is a nice... What? This is a really, really nice battlefield. I like it. All right, this is the kind of battlefield I want to see more often, to be honest. It looks so amazing. And uh, these looters have, have really no idea what they're doing because they're actually running straight on into bushwhackers and various other very high tier ranged units. Um, and they're going to, they're really going to take some damage from them. They really are. Okay, hello. Oh, I'm just going to take some damage from these guys apparently for free. Can they actually start dealing damage? I'm, I'm wondering when my forces are actually going to start dealing damage, to be honest, because if it were me and I was on their side, I would probably be already dead, you know? It's really hilarious. Okay, there we go. They did manage to eliminate them in the end, but uh, still. Anyway, we killed all of them. Ah, well, that was a little bit counterintuitive, wasn't it? Yeah, that's not exactly what I want. Ah, I should have gone, gone in for the auto-resolve, I guess. I mean, that's the thing. It's a little bit difficult to kind of know when you're going to win and when you're not going to win, especially in this situation. Like, for example, look at this right here. Are you going to win this? No. Look at that. We actually didn't win that, which is hilarious. How, how did we How did we not win that? I have, <laughs> I have such good units. It's really, really weird, right? I have really, really good units, but unfortunately, I was just not able to win that auto-resolve. Yeah. Very, very weird. Anyway, we're just going to go straight on in, because I think I can probably win this easily enough by myself. Or should we say not easily, but it is, is you know, it's going to be one of those times where I think we'll probably be fine if I can actually hit. There we go. Nice headshot right there. Can I get another one, please? There we go. Another one. So did we actually kill all of them? The, yes. I mean, basically, apart from one. So that's uh, that's also hilarious, isn't it? I mean, that's the funny thing. Technically, I do need to complete that task. And the task is to capture people and then, uh, you know, deliver them as, um, as recruits over to that particular gang leader. And technically, I've already kind of done that, I guess. I technically have, I suppose, kind of. But... 
The problem with that is that it is then going to leave me completely defenseless, basically. I'm not going to have any way for me to kind of defend myself. And so that's a little bit problematic, in it, you know, as it is. So not sure how that's going to go. But anyway, we're just going to continue recruiting these guys. And we're going to go in for an ultra resolve against these mountain bandits. Maybe we're going to actually get lucky here this time around. Yeah, we might we might be okay with winning this. There we go. There's a victory. We did lose someone, but we also gained someone, so that's okay. And we're just going to be once again just taking these things. There's a there's actually a tournament going on here too, which is pretty nice. So we're probably going to go in there real fast. We're just going to bet and uh, not bet. We're just going to sell a little bit of stuff. Just going to sell all that stuff. We don't really need anything else. I'm just going to wait here for some time. I am pretty low in HP. Speaking of low in HP, shall we actually try and see whether we can get a medic? I think that might be a nice idea. I do have Distinguished Service installed as well, by the way. So there's also that to bear in mind. But of course, as it stands right now, it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to get anything like that. So let me see if I can actually get someone that is... Oh dear... Uh, okay, we might have some problems here. We have a uh, steward, uh, steward. No, we have a scout. Uh, we have an engineer. Oh, no. Okay, this is not looking particularly good, is it? No, this is not looking particularly good. What about the prince? No, you've got a you've got roguery skill. What about the golden? No, he's got scouting skill as well. Okay, this is not looking good. Let's just say that. Willow Bark? Yeah, Willow Bark is the medic. Okay, Willow Bark is the medic. I don't think we have anything else here, unfortunately. Doesn't seem as though that we're going to get super lucky. Um, we have multiple smithing companions, which is actually hilarious because I was looking for, um, I was looking for that in a previous series in the streams, as far as I'm aware, and I could never find one, amusingly enough. Um, but all of these guys, yeah, n none, of, none of the rest actually have any medic skill. So I'm going to assume that I will have to take the one that only has 60, which I'm not that big a fan of, but I mean, I can't really do much about it, right? Can't really do much about it. Just kind of have to roll with it, I guess. As you can see, we, yeah, we, we don't really have anyone else. So I'm just going to send a messenger to her and then hopefully she's going to, uh, Come and speak to us, and then we'll be uh, we'll be doing pretty well. We're going to get a rough bear skin for this win. Bear in mind, I do have wear tournaments installed as well, which is obviously going to make a huge difference in regards to uh, where we can find nice rewards for us. Let me see if I can actually do something here. Nice. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was way too close. That was way too close for my liking. That was very bad. Okay, please don't die, uh, Mr. Companion, sir. Oh, are you serious? Oh, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on with these guys. They literally just die. Okay, here we go. Yes, just use the tree. Use the tree. There we go. That is the only way we can do it. Okay, there we go. Whew. That is hilarious, especially considering, as I said to you before, we have such low two-handed skill. It is extremely difficult for us to win against characters like Batanian Hero and some of these other, you know, some of these other hero-based units. They're going to be extremely difficult for us to deal with. As it is. And if we can kind of utilize the tree in a smart fashion, then that's pretty much the only way that we're going to do this. Uh, unless I'm just really, really lucky, but I have very slow weapon skills, as I say, so it's very difficult for us to actually get any... Oh, oh, oh he crushed through! He crushed through! Oh, you see that? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, should have definitely tried to use the tree a little bit more often there, but it's all right. We've still got a pretty decent amount of cash. We didn't really need to win that super badly, but... Wow, yeah, that kind of thing can happen so, so simply right there as well. And if I had just not gotten crushed through, because that was a crush through uh, in, in that block, if I just not had that happen, then it would have been so much easier for us. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I will literally just hand in my seven rescued prisoners 
and then we'll just go on from there because it's starting to run out of time for this particular mm -hmm. quest and I think it seems like a good idea so I'm gonna just say I brought you a few men and we'll give uh, oh I can only what I can only give these are you serious right now <laughs> well uh, it's because they're locked never mind it's because they're locked I'm I'm stupid all right so there you go so there's um there's six of them and now I need one Oh, that's hilarious, isn't it? Okay, how, how much do I have? Okay, so there's our medic. Our medic is also going to be joining us, thankfully. Okay, so there's 458. That's really nice, too. Um, so 458, really, really nice and easy for her to join us, which is, co which is very, very cool, very good. And I should be able to sell some stuff here as well. So all that, I've got way too much food, apparently. I don't know how that happened, but there you go. Anyway, I need some more looters. Can you give me some more looters, please? No, it doesn't seem like it. All right, wait, wait a minute. Charm skill, what's this? Oh, yeah, we're going to go for meaningful favors. I think this is pretty good. Yep. Yep, we're going to be going for that. And we have... Oh, look at this. We have another one of these. All right, we're going to go for another cunning point, And we might as well go for either... Uh, I still want to get trade. I, I do want to get trade, but I'm not sure how well that's really going to work if I don't go for caravans. And if I don't have the caravan trade skill mod, I'm actually not entirely sure if that still even works. So it might not even work. So I'm just going to go for another point in smithing then, I guess. And we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, that's going to be a little bit problematic. Anyway, let's actually go over here, do a scam. And then what we're going to do is we'll go, we'll go into the, the tavern because you can actually buy units from there. So we can, rec rec we can recruit some of these fellows and we can get some of these. So that's actually kind of nice. Are you done with selecting your new troops? Yeah. You took too many recruits. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Fine. I took too many. Oh, isn't that hilarious? Okay, so wait a minute. I can't select these, so I'm going to just take five. There we go. All right. That was 2,100 just for five of them? Are you serious? Okay, that's, that's pretty funny. Anyway, so we do have another seven units now, so technically I should be able to do some auto-resolves against a looter band, and then I should be able to get one person to potentially join. We just got... Are you... Okay. Okay. Uh, my guys couldn't win in an auto-resolve against some random bandits. Okay. Not sure how that happened, but okay. <laughs> that is that is very funny. All right, not entirely sure, but uh, they they lost against these fellows. Uh, I, I don't really know how that was even possible. I mean, as you can see, they are literally just they are almost the epitome of kind of terrible right now. Um, but I guess my units are worse than that, which is. Uh, a testament in itself. I have no idea how that was even possible. Please don't say that I killed all of them. Yes, indeed, I killed all of them. See, now that's the reason why I wanted to literally just do an auto result. Oh, there we go. We actually got the hill man. Okay, Whew. that was a bit close. I think we're running out of time. Yeah, nine days remaining. So technically, we would have still still had enough time, but it would have been uh, a bit a bit close. You know, a bit close. All right. So there we go. You can just join. And there we have it, 3,000 gold. Okay, that was not worth it. <laughs> that was not worth it at all, but I guess it's all right for uh, maybe some of the skill that it gets me. Does it get me any skill, actually? I didn't even know. Anyway, halves the chance of your mount becoming lame. No, increase your mount's hit points. That's what we're going to go for right here. Melee usage of thrown weapons. No, I don't particularly care about that. We'll go for 40% more damage against mounts. That sounds like a much better idea for us. And otherwise, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. And so I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.